So in this video, we're gonna do something that I have never done before on this channel, and that's talk about a laser. Now, I have talked about lots of lasers on this channel, but we're gonna talk about a laser that I don't have hands-on experience with the laser company Aon, and specifically the Redline series. There are five big features about these machines. I have not experienced on any of the machines that I have, but we're gonna talk about why these features may not even matter to you, but there is one big one that always will. All right, let's jump into it. So a couple weeks ago, I went to a big sign maker conference in Orlando, Florida, uh, which was just wild. So huge industrial printing machines, CNC machines, and specifically lasers. Aon Laser USA invited me down. And full disclosure, Aon is not paying for this video. They did pay for my travel and lodging, but I still want to give you my best and honest impressions of the machines and the company. And they brought a bunch of people like me who make videos about lasers on the internet down because they were releasing their Red Line series. And the Red Line series goes all the way through their product line. And it seems like eventually these Red Line machines kind of phase out the other ones that they've got. Now, when I was at their booth, I talked with Alicia on their team and she gave me a rundown of the machine. This is the latest and greatest laser technology that you'll find. Uh, I am proud and very certain to say that Eon Laser USA has made the fastest laser in the world. Now there's five big features that make these machines stand out. And the first one has to do with movement. So the big top line stat that I kept seeing is these are the world's fastest lasers with some clocking in at 5,000 millimeters per second. Other machines that I have in my shop only top out around 1,200 millimeters per second. So nearly a 5X improvement is insane. Now I have seen that top line speed be a little bit mistaken leading from other manufacturers uh, because you might be able to get going 5,000 millimeters per second, but if you're doing anything with a laser, you're gonna have to go back the other direction. So normally you're gonna go super fast if you're scanning, doing an engrave, something like that. And to be able to reverse directions that quickly means you may not be able to hit that top speed. But Aon, in order to generate that speed, they've also stepped up their motors. With the regular glass tubes, you can get about 1,200 millimeters per second. Okay. Now with the metal RF tubes that we offer, you can get 3,500 millimeters per second. Um, and that's because we now use AC server motors with all of our Redline series. Um, so you can now do that. And with the lightweight laser head, it can really run faster, you get less overscan, and it can really go back and forth as quickly as possible. Uh, we now have a signature series that we're offering, and that's gonna come with a US-made ceramic core RF2 and it's gonna come with US made AC server motor. So that signature series with that ceramic core metal RF tube, uh, the AC server motors, US made, and the uh, new gantry system that really is a little bit even more robust than the regular red line, gives you about 5,000 millimeters per second of engraving speed. Now they had it running at like two to 3,000 millimeters per second, but in some of their marketing, you've seen it actually running at 5,000. Now, one thing with servo motors versus stepper motors, not only do you get higher speeds, but they're also more accurate. So it's actually a closed loop system. Meaning with a stepper motor, you have like a certain number of steps that it moves across and the machine doesn't actually know the number of steps it moved, especially if you have like the motor slip and it skips some steps and the machine itself doesn't know it did that. Servo motors are not the case. The closed loop system means that it knows where it is. So not only are they faster, but they're also going to be more accurate. Now, in order to take full advantage of those motors, the lighter the laser head, the better. And I really was surprised in person to see just how small the laser head was, which brings me to feature number two, kind of lives all over the place, but it starts with that laser head. And that is the emphasis on a closed system design. They all have new lightweight laser head redesign laser heads and it's all toolless tool changing which is really exciting so you need no tools to change any of the lenses or the mirrors now uh, it's magnetic and it just slips right in specifically on the laser head the lens you can actually pop out and it is fully sealed and actually the laser head itself is sealed as well so you're not getting all the fumes and the dust and the particles within the laser head if you guys have used co2 lasers before one of the big pains is just keeping everything clean and they're trying to make it as simple as possible and you can also see it in the laser beam path itself so it's reflecting through a series of mirrors all of those mirrors are kind of hidden within the frame of the machine and then they just have a sealed, I believe it's glass opening for that laser beam to go 
through. And on the sides is the really cool part where you can see that they have these curtains that go along with the rails on both sides. So the linear rails and the bearings are all sealed away from the work area itself. And I really haven't seen anything like that before. Now, even though everything is sealed, you can actually remove the mirrors from the work bed itself. So it is just really nice to be able to walk up to the machine and know whatever happens inside of the work bed isn't gonna get into all the mechanical and optical elements of the machine itself. Now the beam path is actually the third feature. The mirrors are fixed on the side in brackets as well. Um, and we have a new laser tube docking station, which is really exciting. So what that laser tube docking station does is it actually fixes the beam path of the tube when you change to a new tube or even a new laser frequency, which is coming down the pipeline too. Okay. So that means you're really not going to have really any alignment any longer, unless something happens and you need to tweak something. But really no more alignments is really, really exciting. All right, so see, this is the new docking. So to get it out, you're just gonna unclip it and you can pick it up and take it out, okay? So when you put it back in, it's in a fixed position and lock it. That's why the beam path is fixed. But those glass tubes are consumables and if you're running a business, you will have to go through them. So normally it's a pretty big hassle to have to drop that tube in, then you have to realign all the mirrors. But since that tube locks into a specific location, you don't have to do any alignment. You're good right off the bat. And then another benefit, and this is on the Nova series, is you can have a glass tube as well as a RF metal tube tube in the machine at the same time. And then inside of the software, you can tell the machine basically if you're cutting, so you're using a glass tube or you're doing engraving and you can use the RF tube. And since that beam path is fixed and you're still gonna have that docking system for the RF metal tube as well, you just drop it in and you're good to go. And coming back to what we talked about before, the ease of use with it seems great. All right, feature number four has to do with the overall design of the machine. The Eon lasers, all of them are all in one. So that means the industrial chiller, the air assist, and the exhaust systems are all built into the cabinet. Uh, and really that just saves you space in your workspace. Space is money sometimes. So the more space you have in your workspace, the better. So I walked up to the booth, uh, saw the machines, and then I started to like poke around to see like where is like the water chiller, where is the compressor. With bigger units, a lot of times those are integrated directly in on their Mira, which is more of their desktop style machine. But honestly, they're not really desktop. You still would put them on a stand. A lot of times you're gonna have those compressors and chillers hanging off. Specifically with the Mira, they're saying you can pick it up, put it on its side, you can walk it or put it on a dolly and you can take it through doors. And the fifth big feature is kind of a catch-all that I'm just calling quality of life. The first is a camera system, um, which is kind of standard with most of these machines now. And then the next is it does have autofocus and it's a mechanical autofocus, but instead of having a little switch on the side that it pops up and down, it's actually in the laser head itself. So the laser head drops down, taps off, and then comes back up. And then another feature, which is really handy, one of the things you're gonna have to do with all lasers is some type of maintenance. We were talking earlier that all of the lens systems are sealed, but there is still exposed glass. And that glass will get dust and fumes and all that kind of stuff, and you will need to clean it over time. And usually most manufacturers will just recommend like you just need to clean it pretty much every time you start your machine to have like the best performance possible. But Aon's actually using sensors and a smart monitoring system to tell you when you need to clean different components as well as predict when it's going to happen in the future. And that's another great quality of life improvement that kind of takes away one of the big hassles with running one of these machines for a business. Now, as I'm going through these, you're probably like, all right, that's great. What's the price? And Aon definitely is more expensive than what you'd find from some other manufacturers. So the range is going to be from $7,000, that's gonna be on the Mira 5, all the way up into multiple tens of thousand dollars, once you're talking about their big Nova and Supernova machines. And all of these features are really cool. A lot of these I've never seen on a machine myself, but they're really not the most important thing, which brings me to the most important thing I learned about Aon. Okay, so I talked to several people on the team and you can definitely tell they had big talking points on why these machines are better than the ones they had before and other manufacturers. But usually towards the end, they would start talking about support. And even with Alicia, it almost felt like the support aspect of it and what they provide got her the most excited. We have the best support team in the business. Uh, we are open 8.30 to nine o'clock weekdays, 8.30 to five o'clock on the weekends. Um, we have a support ticket system, we have an email system, we have a phone system. We FaceTime you, we'll text you, whatever you need to get you up and running or if you have questions or anything, it's always free of charge, it's always included because we really want you to be as happy and successful as you can be with your laser. And it's really important to us that we know 
um, that you can do it and that you will do it. That's all US based, it's all based in Melbourne, Florida. And if you are running a business and you're depending on an expensive tool to help you produce products that you can sell and keep your lights on, you know what it's like when something messes up. You know how annoying it is to figure out how to fix it. You're gonna be deep on Facebook or Reddit threads or support docs just trying to get something Work. Because a machine that can run 5,000 milliliters per second is great, but if that thing doesn't work, any machine is gonna be better than that one. So having support tacked on to all of these really cool features is the biggest benefit that I saw about them. This is their manufacturing facility in the US. This is like several tens of thousands square feet and they actually manufacture a lot of the stuff stateside. And let me show you one thing that I thought was wild and I honestly have never seen this with any tool company. You guys can see this vehicle right here. They're saying they have an emergency response team that can physically get to your location within 48 hours. I'm sure you'll go through some other support steps before it gets to that point. So that's pretty wild uh, to have a physical person from the team come and fix your machine if it absolutely needs it. And even though the prices might be higher than what you see with other machines, having access to ongoing support, uh, it's pretty hard to put a value on it. Now this isn't a formal review, but once I actually get the machine in, I'll be able to do that for you. And speaking of getting the machine in, the Redline series just came out. They are about three to four months on the first batch of orders, uh, which is about 100, and then it'll be a little bit longer after that. Now, if you do wanna check out any of their machines, there are links down below. They're not affiliate links, so if you buy something, great. Maybe tell them I sent you, but at the end of the day, I just want you to get a machine that's gonna work for you. All right, until next time, go make or break something in your shop. See you guys.